Hey guys! So um, in this video, I'm going to be making some journal cards with this watercolor paper that I have right here. It's Hot Press 100% Cotton by Strathmore, great quality, and it's five by seven inches. And I just wanted to show you uh, what my desk looks like right now. I got this new mat. Um, I'll link the shop that I bought it from on Etsy below and it's um, to film videos on and because I think it looks prettier than this um, craft paper. So yeah, I got this and I feel super fancy finally having a photo mat. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I wanted to show you what my desk looks like right now. So have my brushes and stuff over there, heat tool, pencil crayons. Those right there are my um, letter and uh, number stamps. And this is my pencil case with my essentials in it. This is my little rack. It's kind of disheveled, but uh, it does the job. <laughs> um, this, uh, my friend Erin gave me this cute little plush and I just stuck it on the side there. That's a painting that I did. Oh, and up here is another painting that I did a long time ago, that one. And then um, some of my inks and sprays and all that is in there. Then we've got some brushes, brushes that I use with acrylic painting, some random stuff in this dollar store mug. Um, my vintage Sarasa pens are in the planter's salted cashews container. And then I love this. This is my little swirly doodad here. Has all my fun pens and paint uh, brush thing, paint pens, <laughs> all that kind of stuff. My Tombow's up here, mermaid markers, mild liners, Stabilo pencil uh, pens, jelly roll, and uh, Pentel sign pens, more Sarasas. Yeah, it's a really fun container. I love how it just swivels so easily and holds so much supplies. And these are my watercolors, of course. I'm not gonna zoom in too close because they are horrendously dirty. <laughs> but yeah, there's that. And then I have a random uh, Liquitex gesso right here and some new inks I got um, a month or so ago. But yeah, I'm really excited to get started. I just wanted to, I'll pan out so you can see what it looks like. We've been doing a lot of spring cleaning in the apartment and I'm finally happy to have my uh, spare, spare-ish bedroom back to my studio. So that's really awesome. And then I film that right there and I have my lights right there. So yeah, so let's get to creating, woo! So guys, the first thing that we're gonna do obviously is take the paper out of the package. I like to put a little X on the um, bottom side of the paper so that I know which side is the right side to uh, paint on in case it gets flipped around because there's a different um, surface on each side and so only one's good for painting on and so anyway I started off by drawing a cute little girl there and then I sprayed some Dilutions um, sprays on there and then I drew some stars with my Stabilo All pencil in black and I come in with a paintbrush and just uh, draw around it with, with water on the brush and it kind of makes the black come out like that and it looks really cool, I think, and stands out so much. Then I came in with my watercolors and there was still some color from the sprays on the paper that had reached out further and it mixed really cool with the watercolor and I love that effect. So I'm definitely gonna be working with that a little bit more as I create more of these colorful, fun pieces. And um, yeah, so I just kind of used random blues and turquoises and created a sort of patchwork cloud effect. And I love how that area turned out. Then I took some Opera Pink by Daniel Smith and made a bunch of dots. And I love adding mark making to my mixed media pieces and my journaling too. It's such a Zen process. And there's so many different kinds of marks that you can make and different tools you can use to make the marks and like for instance I just did splatters with my um, copper paint and um, that's another way to add marks and it's, it's super pretty and so yeah so I'm just adding in some more watercolors and I'm dipping into the ink from the dilution spray and spreading that out a bit and then I pulled out my Stabilo Woody in pink and added some really scribbly kind of marks kind of in a U shape 
and I added some details to the girl in pink and then I outlined her eyes because I wanted them to be defined a bit more and stand out you know and then I just checked it out for myself to see how it was looking and then I decided to draw some plants. I love drawing plants, it's so fun. And it's pretty easy to do. You just kind of draw a wavy line and then some um, kind of like almond eye shapes going along it for leaves and it's pretty easy to make. And then more scribbles with my Pentel sign pen. And then I added some raindrops. I kind of think of this process as a really intuitive kind of thing like I don't think too much about what I'm gonna do next I really just do whatever I feel like doing next if I feel like it's gonna work with the composition um, depending on what I'm placing there or like if I'm doing clouds or stars or mark making or what kind of colors I'm putting next to each other like I have a bunch of cools at the top left and then I have warm colors kind of in the center and then at the bottom I wanted some darker colors with that purple and so it really balances the whole thing out and I think that's something you kind of pick up over time after making um, a lot of uh, pieces of art or drawings and paintings and all that you kind of figure out composition as you go and you know there's no perfect composition ever so it's it's not like you're you have to worry about too much perfectionism with this you kind of just do what your heart tells you to do and it'll turn out right because it's kind of what you're intuitively you're, I don't know. I don't know if any of that's making sense, but anyway, it'll turn out the way it's supposed to turn out, I guess. <laughs> so anyway, um, I wanted to make the stars pop out a bit more, so I painted around them, and then I wanted her hair to stand out a bit more there, so I added some orange paint along the edge of her hair. And what did I do next? Oh, more mark making with my Pentel sign pen in purple. And I love the little marks. They're so much fun to do and they make such an impact. And yeah, I just think they're one of my favorite marks to make. Uh, oh, and I wanted to put it over the, the pink blob in the middle there because I wanted the pink blob to kind of feel like it was into the piece rather than standing out as just a pink blob. So anyway, we're coming to the end of the video. I'd like to thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna be making a bunch more of these original pieces which will be on sale in my shop very soon. And yeah, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. It means a lot to me. It helps my channel grow and lets me know that you're enjoying my content. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. And once again, I really hope you're staying safe and doing well and managing to find the time to create and Hopefully some peace of mind, even though the world's kind of crazy right now. So yeah, I just hope you're all doing well, and thank you so much for watching my little channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!